Here I go again, here I go again, here I go again, man, here I go again, again, again. See, for the longest time I used to think that for the rest of my life I'd have to deal with this cycle. Like I'd never ever be able to break free from this cycle. But Romans chapter 8 showed me differently. It was like this, yo. First thing you should know is you was bought with the price. The currency was blood of yeah. our Savior Jesus Christ. Uh. I know it sounds crazy, but yep, yep. <laughs> Man, the head was in jail. You gonna give a man that much fire? You 50 years old still crying about your dad right now. 50! He wasn't there for me. Hold me. You hold somebody to me. Hold me. Making all these excuses. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Don't give me no job. Knock on some door. Tell me I work for free till you hire me. I'm gonna be here every day until you do something for me. Oh, they'll give me mindset. That's that enslaved mindset. How you been trained to think? How you see yourself? You can't tell me no. I don't believe in barriers. And so we got to begin to deal with those strongholds on our minds. And so even though you position in Christ, you still live in an inferior life. Then you teaching it to your children. You teaching them to be the slain slave that you were in your mind. We got to break them strongholds. Break that generational cycle. And so I'm not living like that no more. I'm going to live the way God designed for me to live. Man, man. There's much more for me to enjoy. I see the fruit. I done tasted some of it. Yeah, yeah. Now, in the world, you're going to go in there and see the land. It's prosperous. Then you're going to come back and say, no, I can't get it. I can't get it. And God already said you can have it. God himself couldn't even get them to move. Because there's a little challenge. We, we, we think if it's a little challenge, any little opposition, but I can't go past that. It's some stuff in my way. Get out your way! Allow the word of God to begin to break shackles yeah. off of your mind. Yeah, God. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Amen. Huh. Our decisions are not solely based on the facts, information, and opportunities, but on how you've been trained to think and how you see yourself. How do you see yourself right now? How have you been trained to think? Do you still have an Egypt mindset? Think this is all this going to be for my life? God said, if I delight myself in him, he'll give me the desire of my heart. You can't tell me what my desire is. And some of you, you have allowed people to tell you what you can't do. Oh, you can't never do that. Ain't never been done before. Ain't nobody in our family ever did. What you mean you gonna be a doctor? You ain't gonna be no doctor. Ain't nobody ever been done that before. You can't be no doctor. You better let me go. Yeah. I told you it's two main ways the enemy attack you. It's through the words he speak over you or the actions that he's done to you. And so he done spoke some things and it locked you in that you can't move no far. Man, listen, let, let's go back and look at Egypt a little bit. Let's think about this. <laughs> the, the Israelites were more in number than the Egyptians. 
They were more in number, so you know what they did to keep them in bondage? They oppressed them. They continued to cause more problems to come their way that they couldn't even really see who they were. If one of them just got a revelation and said, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's ten of us, three of them, what can they do to us? See, if, if you ever realize, see, some of you, you had a dream of having your own job. And if you really thought about it, the stuff that you're doing now that you're getting paid to do, you can do it for yourself if you had a right business plan and right business model. You can make more than what you're making right now. But because your fear of insecurity and your fear of failure, you're scared to step out. What if this don't work? What if it does? <laughs> so he got it on your mind. You the best painter they got. But we're gonna give you a we gonna give you a five dollar raise over the next ten years. <laughs> For real? <laughs> Inflation went up $20 over the next two years. You know, they give, they give me a $5 raise over the next 10 years. You still 15 years old. <laughs> oh, God. But if you begin to get a business model, and you've been telling for, I'm going to start me a business. I'm going to start me, you know, I'm going to start me a business. Girl, you know, you know, so and so did that same business. You know what happened to it now? They lost everything. Oh, <laughs> and you go discombobulated. <laughs> you know what they're starting to do? Girl, you, you know what happened? John and them did that same thing. His cheer name ain't recovered yet, child. <laughs> you know what they're starting to do? Oh, you, you know what happened, now? Child, his, his wife left. Wife left him, child, okay? <laughs> He don't even start a business. You heard what happened? He on food stamp, child. <laughs> you don't start a business. You can do it. You, you can do it. It's going to succeed. I believe you're going to be a multi-millionaire with that business idea. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. You begin to sigh. Because you've been trained to think a certain way, or you see yourself a certain way. That's good. That's good. It don't matter that the facts, the information, the opportunity, you, you already doing the bid, you just not doing it for you. And everybody say how great your work is. You just don't know how to do a business plan. But you can learn that. You just don't have the, the other information, but you can learn that. Strong hope. Your mind getting enslaved that you begin to settle for less than God's best for your life. You begin to react and respond out of that belief system and not out of truth. See, if your belief system hadn't been changed to truth, you're going to live an inferior life. That, that's why Opposition come in my life that don't move me. Because I'm only moved by truth. That, that information can be a fact, but it's not true. Only what God says is true, other information can be facts. I live by truth, not by facts. I may go to the doctor and they diagnose me with cancer, and they say I got three months to live, that's a fact. But the truth is, by Jesus Christ, I'm here. It may be a fact that I'm, I'm struggling right now financially, but the truth is, He will provide all my needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. See, you got to understand, it may be a fact that you're right here, but the truth will prevail if you allow it. And He says, the truth that will make you free. Facts don't make you free. It's truth. 
truth that makes you free. Good, good. But most of us, when the facts come, it was a fact they were bigger than them. It was a fact that it was fortified. But the truth was, God said, you well able. Yeah. So are you going to be moved by facts or are you going to be moved by truth? I don't know about you. Truth will always reign in my life. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. What that indicates is that we can become an entirely new person by changing the way we think. See, our old habits form by repetition. And what we've got to do is create a new repetition. That repetition should be digging into like this, uh. To renew your mind and break free from the sin, you must dig in the word, like here I go again, like.